Hey guys, it's Jordan, and sorry I didn't film an intro, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pencil box for back to school, but it can also be used for other things, and it's just like a perfect little organizer, so yeah, let's just get started with supplies. So first you're going to need some tacky glue, and for some reason I put down manila folders instead of tacky glue, but you're just going to need some tacky glue, and then a hot glue gun, an old shoe box and lots of glue sticks, a pair of scissors, and some fabric. So you're going to start by opening up your shoe box and cutting right down the center. Then taking one of the sides, you're just going to want to cut off the top flap and also cut off the bottom flap. Then you're going to want to open it up and cut a little strip out right down the center of your shoe box. Then taking some hot glue, just hot glue the sides together again. Make sure you smooth it out so there are no bumps. Then taking an extra piece of cardboard, cut a rectangle so that it fits directly on top of where you just cut. And just glue it down. Then just fold it back up and add a bunch of hot glue to secure it all. Then taking an extra piece of cardboard, I'll just be cutting out a little square and sticking it to the other side. And put extra hot glue just to make sure it's all secure. Next you're going to want to make sure everything's all even and just use your scissors to cut it. Then just using my pen, I'm just going to mark a half circle and cut it out. Now I'll just be taking the other box and starting by cutting off all of the folded edges. Then I'll just be using my hot glue to hot glue all over so that it stays in the shape of a box. And if you have a hole on one of the sides of your box, then you can just cut out a scrap of cardboard in the shape of a circle and just stick it in there with hot glue. They should fit inside each other like this. Now taking your fabric, you're just going to lay it out and measure it with the box and make sure to measure it um, horizontal and vertical. If that makes sense and make sure to add a little bit extra to whatever you get so make sure to add like an extra five inches or whatever and then mark it with a pen when you're done then just cut it out when you're done then put your box right in the middle of the fabric and fold one of the sides over and just add a little bit of hot glue and glue it down and then do the same thing for the other side but make sure you fold that side over first so that you don't get the frayed ends on there. Then for the side that has the hole on it, just cut strips on every corner. Then using your tacky glue, just glue each section down to the inside of the box and make sure to get it as flat as you can. Then on the other side, I just like to cut off all the extra fabric to make it even. And using my tacky glue, I just put it in all of the corners. Then I also just put it right directly down onto the cardboard. And I fold it just like I would be folding a birthday present. And just basically fold a birthday present but add glue as you're doing it. So it should just look like this when you're done. And now time for the other box. And then you're just going to measure it and do basically just the same thing, but add a lot extra. Or you can also just scrunch in the middle because that's what you're going to be doing. And so that'll also just help you get an idea of how it'll be. So that can also help you to measure it better. And also just still add a few extra inches. And then just cut it out when you're done. Then just lay the fabric over the box, making sure that's in the middle, and then just push in the sides to make sure you like it the way it is. 
and just add some tacky glue. You can use hot glue too, but I just found that doesn't work as well. So you're going to want to add that to all the sides. Then I just flip it over and you can use your hot glue or your tacky glue. I just use my hot glue and I'm just hot gluing all the sides and sticking it up so that it's smoother. And try to just stick it down as straight as you can. When you're done with that, you're just going to want to try and glue the fabric to the bottom of it. And this part is the hardest part for me because I had so much fabric and so little box I had to glue it to. And so just try your best. You can cut pieces and just glue them down. Just try your very best not to make it as bulky as you can. Because the bulkier it is, the harder it will be to pull out as a drawer. So just kind of try your best and just glue different pieces and cut different pieces. And if you need to, to make it like smoother, you can get another extra piece of fabric and just glue that on top of everything. You know, just kind of try your best and I'm sure you can figure it out. And make sure you have enough glue on everything. And once you do, it should be just about done. And it should slide in just like this. And it works so well. You can even put tape at the bottom so that it doesn't slide on your desk or wherever you put it. And now, drum roll, please. The winner of the giveaway was... I don't know how to pronounce that name. Mahin Randawa. So I hope you guys liked that tutorial for back to school. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Click one of these boxes to check out my latest videos. And don't forget to subscribe.